welcome to our graduation. Thank you for coming. Uh, would you bow your heads in prayer, please? Lord, we thank you for this day, that the ability to finally come together to recognize our graduates and to recognize not only their accomplishments, but the completion of their high school career. We also think of their teachers, their friends, their mentors, the people that have helped them through all these times. We think of their family members. We ask, Lord, that you would continue to be with them, that you would guide them as they step into their new reality, that you would be with the families as they may be saying goodbye or uh, step into a new role. And Lord, we just ask that you would look over the people here assembled. You continue to bless us with your presence, with your protection, with your provision. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Good afternoon, you guys may be seated. Welcome, finally, to the ceremony, the graduation ceremony for the Fairfield High School class of 2020. What a ride this has been. So, at this time, we are going to present awards and scholarships that our seniors have earned. So seniors, when I call your name, you'll come up to the stage, get your envelope, and then make your way back down to your seats, okay? Bailey Basie. <laughs> Bailey is receiving a Distinguished Scholastic Achievement for Basketball Student and Student Council. She lettered in Basketball, Volleyball, Student Council is receiving academic honors for the fourth nine weeks, academic honors for second semester, and a Silver Star Award for maintaining at least a three-point GPA throughout her senior year. <laughs> Kaylin Bauman. Kaylin is receiving the Schola Distinguished Scholastic Achievement for Basketball, student council, cheer, and band. She lettered in basketball, volleyball, powerlifting, choir, band, student council, and cheerleading. She is also receiving academic high honors for the fourth nine weeks, academic honors for second semester, an outstanding scholastic achievement for choir, a 2019-2020 Gold Star Award for a 3.7 to 4.0 GPA during the school year, and she is also receiving the Scholar Athlete Award. <laughs> Abby Giesling. <laughs> Abby lettered in choir, band, cheerleading, Scholars Bowl, the high school play. She's receiving academic high honors for the fourth nine weeks, the second semester, a Distinguished Scholastic Achievement in Scholars Bowl, Band, Cheerleading, and an Outstanding Scholastic Achievement for Choir. She is also a 2019-2020 Gold Star recipient. <laughs> Serena Chantra. Serena participated in volleyball and the high school play. She lettered in choir, band, student council, cheerleading, and scholars bowl. She is also receiving academic high honors for the fourth nine weeks and for second semester. She is receiving a distinguished scholastic achievement in scholars bowl, band, student council, and cheerleading, as well as an outstanding scholastic achievement in choir. She is also a Gold Star Award winner. <laughs> Eric Cochran. <laughs> Eric lettered in football and is receiving an Outstanding Scholastic Achievement Award for choir. <laughs> Ethan Hall. <laughs> Ethan lettered in football, powerlifting, and choir, and is receiving an Outstanding Scholastic Achievement Award for choir. <laughs> Lee.
Lizzie Hansen. Lizzie lettered in choir and student council, is receiving a distinguished scholastic achievement for student council and an outstanding scholastic achievement for choir. Keegan Homon. Keegan lettered in football and basketball and is receiving a Distinguished Scholastic Achievement Award for basketball. <laughs> Joden Lawrence. Joden is receiving a Distinguished Scholastic Achievement for band and Outstanding Scholastic Achievement for choir. Felicity Ninky. Felicity lettered in the high school play. Connor Witt. Connor lettered in band and is receiving a Distinguished Scholastic Achievement Award for band. <laughs> the next award that I'm going to present is the Dell Dennis Award. The Dell M. Dennis Excellence in Education Award was established in 1996 by Kansas school administrators to honor the long and valuable service that Dennis provided to Kansas education. Dennis, Deputy Commissioner for the Kansas State Department of Education, dedicated his career to serving and helping others in education. This award is given to a student who displays the qualities that Dell Dennis embodies, integrity, honesty, a commitment to serving others, and a good common sense. And this year's recipient is Abigail Giesling and Kaylin Bauman. At this time, I want to recognize our one student who is considered a CTE completer. She completed enough courses um, through uh, career and technical education to be recognized by the state as a completer, and that student is Bailey Basie. <laughs> Bailey has completed the certified nurse aid, home health aid, and the Certified Medication Aid. And this year we have three students who are graduating with high honors, and those students are Kaylin Bauman, Serena Chantra, and Abigail Giesling. Each year, Keisha awards a citizenship award. This goes to an exemplary young citizen who has demonstrated a marked respect for country, assumed responsibility for improving school and community, and has shown reverence for life. This year's recipients are Keegan Hallmont and Kaylin Bauman.
Each year, we honor the top 10% of each class, and this year, that honor goes to Serena Chantra. The next award I'm going to present is the Brad Dennis Award. Brad, the, Mo the Brad Dennis Most Inspirational Award is a special award given to one member of each year's senior class. This award honors a Fairfield student that was killed in a tra tragic car accident at the end of his junior year in 1992. Brad loved the game of basketball, and while he was not the star player on the court, he was the most passionate dedicated and hardworking player on and off the court. He truly wanted to be a part of the team and contribute however he could. This year's award recipient shows these traits. This year's recipient is Kaylin Bauman. And at this time, Mrs. Louise Knopfel will come up and present her scholarships. looks like a nice bunch of seniors, and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to attend like usual, but since my husband passed away two years ago and I was in a wheelchair the year before, we have missed a lot of things that you guys have done, but it sounds like you've accomplished a lot. And I want to start off by giving Conroy O'Brien's first award. Serena Chapman and where, where's the gift? I think Angela has them and she's not here. I talked to Betsy and she was to have it. And I want pictures. Okay, we'll get them. Thank you. 
is really strong. And he was coach at UNLC before he retired. And I give up for him and Tom for years. So anyway, but you'll get a pack that's got his address, his, his uh, note with all that he, because all you have to do is just write a personal note. Thank you, Mrs. Knopel. The next award is going to be presented by the Schenecker family. everybody we made it good afternoon and congratulations to the class of 2020 we are here today to present the Christina Schenecker Memorial Scholarship the scholarship was established in 2018 after the tragic passing of our daughter Sergeant Christina Schenecker Tina was a 2010 graduate of Fairfield High School and she died a hero in Iraq just 10 days before her tour of duty was to end because of so much generous support, we were able to give two $500 scholarships in Tina's name. This year's recipients of the Christina Marie Memorial, Christina Schenecker Memorial Scholarship are uh, Bailey Basie and Serena Chandra. next award will be present, presented by the Ernie Combs family. Alright. So in memory of our dad, we decided we wanted to give a scholarship to keep his legacy going. So on behalf of me and my family, we would like to give the Ernie Combs Memorial Scholarship to Bailey Basie.
The last award that I have to present is from the after prom parents. And since they didn't have a traditional after prom, they decided that we would present this here at graduation today. And that is an HCC book scholarship. And this year's recipient is Keegan Hallmont. That concludes our awards and scholarships part. So now I would like to introduce this year's valedictorian, Serena Chantra. In addition to being valedictorian, she has also received KU honors and was named a Kansas Governor Scholar earlier in the school year. Okay, to begin, I would like to thank everyone here for supporting me and my fellow classmates of the class of 2020. I have a long thank you list, but I'll try and condense it. Thank you to all of the faculty and staff of USD 310. You have all gone above and beyond to ensure that every student from Fairfield receives an excellent education and never stands alone. Thank you to each graduate's parents, grandparents, siblings, and other family members. You've gone through the long haul with each of us, and for that, we will never be able to give enough thanks. Thank you to our incredible community members. You've supported us at every sporting event, music concert, FFA banquet, and all of the other endless activities we were all involved in. And lastly, to the class of 2020. Guys, we did it, and I am so proud of us. I think that basically covers it, so I guess I should probably get on with it. Ag Ed, it's more than cows, plows, and sows. Okay, wrong speech, bad joke, but that one was for you, Miss Volk. Okay, but seriously, I had a really hard time writing this speech. I sat for hours and just listened to all kinds of valedictorian speeches, trying to come up with some inspiring, thoughtful, memorable topic. I thought about talking about success, integrity, faith, basically anything other than politics because we all know that's a big no-no. I really wanted to find some idea that would stick with me and my class for years to come, but nothing ever seemed to pop up in my mind. At the beginning of this year, I had an idea for the theme of this speech, but I'll admit it's a little cliche. I finally decided to base it off of a hit country song that I'm sure most of you have heard, and if not, I'll summarize. You can look it up after this. The song is called Five More Minutes by Scotty McCreary, and it makes me cry every time I listen to it, because if you know me, you know I'm a total sap. Now this song's whole point is to reminisce, fitting, because the past three to four months for my class has been full of reminiscing. The song starts off, and he's eight years old, outside fishing, and begging his mom for just five more minutes before he has to come in for supper. There's the first mention of five more minutes, a phrase I'm sure we have all caught ourselves saying a time or two. Next, he's 16, dropping his date off just a few minutes past curfew because they needed just five more minutes. Now, the song compares life to a clock, saying time rolls by, the clock don't stop and asks once again for just five more minutes. Now, I know I'm getting a little bit repetitive, but just bear with me. This is the line that really hit me for some reason. He's now 18 and turning in his football helmet. He begs his coach for just five more minutes on the field, because after all, the next time he's there, he'll have to buy a ticket. Okay, I'm sure you guys are starting to get the point now. I think a lot of the time, especially with high school or really any chapter of our lives coming to an end, we catch ourselves asking for just five more minutes. We wanna stay where we are comfortable, high school, a place full of ups and downs, laughter, maybe some tears, crazy stories and unforgettable moments. After all that talk of reminiscing, I figure I ought to add in 
some of the fun memories from Fairfield from the class of 2020. This will all tie in eventually, I promise. Okay, buckle in because we're gonna kind of fast forward through all of my class's memories of Fairfield. We've done a little bit of everything in all of the activities that we were involved in. From long trips to basketball and football games with all kinds of different music, endless laughter, life lessons, and she sticks from DeMario's with Mrs. Kenoki, to a totally different type of car ride with Miss Folk. Those FFA trips were mostly filled with wrong turns, ACDC, heads up, and maybe a flat tire or two. Oh, and of course, both included Abby's select choice of 80s music. Late night powder puff games, singing and dancing to Closer by the Chainsmokers with Kaylin on top of the picnic tables. Sorry, our secret's out. Basically reliving first person narratives with Miss Lubers in her nine week long projects. Taunting Mr. Hurt about his family and getting pepper sprayed in chemistry class. Yeah, that happened, although the two events were completely unrelated somehow. Convincing Mrs. Unruh to let us have a dip day on Valentine's, because who needs college algebra when you have queso? Hiding gummy bears all over Mr. Schaefer's room and pestering him about his political affiliation. Talking about and maybe shedding a few tears over money, college, career choice, and oh so many other things with G-Money. And to round it all out, we were oh so excited for the senior faculty basketball game, which we definitely would have won. Senior pranks, prom, our last music concert, our senior trip, the last day of high school, and suddenly it was all gone. Just like that, our world turned on its side, and the future that we had so painstakingly planned out looked a whole lot different. Now, everything I have said before this has just been a precursor to a lesson that I have recently learned and want to share with all of you. As Mrs. Glasscock would say, I had a two by four moment. You know, kind of like when a two by four hits you all of a sudden and it just clicks, yeah. So if you know me, you know that I am a planner. I'm organized, detailed, picky, and I can get a little crazy if things don't go my way. Having our senior year completely turned upside down and inside out has shown me that everything can change at a moment's notice. In a matter of hours, we went from having an extended spring break, which would have been awesome, to being quarantined in our homes, only going to town for absolute necessities, like toilet paper apparently, and wondering when things would return to normal. I know that I found myself not only wondering what could happen next, but I was also reminiscing on all of the fun times that I had with my classmates and teachers. On top of all that, I was reminiscing on what could have been. I kept thinking about all of the what ifs. I believe that it is a wonderful thing to be able to reminisce, to think back on memories and replay the highlights of our lives. But I think a lot of the times we can find ourselves stuck where we are comfortable. Humans are creatures of habit after all. Through trial and error, we strive for positive results and we stick with the methods that got us there. Those trials and errors are extremely important. Our mistakes are important. Without mistakes, trial and error, and even some risk taking, we would never land on those positive results. We would never grow. The past has already happened, and if we continue to live stuck in our ways, or keep asking for just five more minutes, we will never see change. We will never see growth. So, to my fellow classmates, and really everyone here today, never leave a door unopened, as you will never know what it will lead to. Take every opportunity thrown your way and overturn every stone. As the class of 2020, we have always said that we were the guinea pig group. Now, we have been the first to experience a lot of new things at Fairfield, but we are also amongst the first group of adults to go out into the world after the COVID-19 pandemic. We hold a lot of power in our hands. We hold incredible opportunities for growth. I didn't want to mention COVID, but it seems naive not to, as it has made such a big impact on each and every one of us here today. We have experienced firsthand how fast our immediate plans for the future can change, and I believe it has made us nothing but stronger. I think that resilient is the perfect word to describe us, resilient. 
to be able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. It would be a shame to let all of this resiliency go to waste. We can bounce back from whatever the world throws at us. Not only will we bounce back from our senior year looking a little different, COVID, and even something as simple yet irritating as having to wear a mask, but I believe we will go out into the world and change it. We just have to take that leap, open that door, and stop asking for just five more minutes. Just in our small class from the middle of nowhere, Kansas, we have so much success brewing. A few going to serve our incredible country. Some going into the front lines of medicine. Going into hospitality to try and make life just a little more comfortable. Cosmetology, to paint a pretty face on a world that can be ugly at times. Blue collar workers, to go out and continue to make our world spin. Education, to shape the minds of our future generations and incite change, and all kinds of in between and outside of those categories. I would finish this off by asking for just another five more minutes, but I'm so excited to see where each of us end up in this crazy world that I wouldn't want to hold anyone back, not even just for five more minutes. Thank you. This year's saluted, co-salutatorians are Caitlin Bauman and Abby Giesling. for their support through online learning and dedication to making the, the, last past, sorry, the last part of our senior year as normal as possible. This speech is going to be a short, sweet, and to the point. It is inspired by what our class did over quarantine. Even as disappointing as canceling school was for us, we are still very thankful for the opportunity to be able to celebrate our accomplishments. If we had known that March 12th was our last day of students in this building, I feel like most of us would have walked a little slower down the hallways and thanked our teachers one last time. But with that being said, let us tell you a little poem. It's called The Best Skip Day Ever. Wake up at noon and hit the snooze, or wake up at six and put on gym shoes. Take care of the siblings, write some new songs, or walk downtown and take the dogs. Run the baseline at 10 cloud 9, put your feet up and recline. Catch up on sleep or catch up on work, maybe shoot off some fireworks. Learn online, teach online, don't forget the deadline. Plan for this, plan for that, don't forget to decorate your grad cap. Work consists of cleaning, farming, maybe even some lifeguarding. Travel to see family, these times are so uncanny. Seniors of 2020, we are we know that we've all been through plenty, but let this year go down in history for the future from now is a mystery. 35 days in total, a lot we have endeavored. It ended up being the best skip day ever. Again, we would like to thank you for one of the most interesting senior years that Fairfield has had in a long time. We love you and will miss you all and wish you luck with your future plans. Thank, thank you. you. Before we present the diplomas, I would just like to take a moment and recognize a couple of seniors who were unable to join us today. The first one is Chris Fulner, who has joined the Army and is currently in basic training. And then the second one is Tate Bontrager, who was not able to be here due to some COVID concerns.
test. Bailey Aaron Basie. <laughs> Kaylin Elizabeth Bauman. Serena Diana Chantra. Eric Alexander Cochran. Abigail May Giesling. Ethan Lane Hall. Mary Elizabeth Hansen. Keegan Brody Palmont. Joden Michael Lawrence. <laughs> Felicity Rose Ninky. <laughs> Madison Nicole. Connor Wayne Witt Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Fairfield High School, Class of 2020. Thank you for joining us this afternoon.